I didn't get no inspiration from no Selma Burke. I didn't even know no Selma Burke. The devil is a lie. I didn't know We're at Rolling Rose Tattoos. This is the premier black owned tattoo spot in Greensboro, North Carolina. I've gotten ink done here myself. Ain't that the truth, Under Oath? I'm around some great, great artists. North Carolina is known for great artists. I'll tell you about one that I didn't know about. Are you familiar with Selma Burke? Probably not. She's a graduate of Winston-Salem State University, my alma mater, class of 1924. Now, you might not be familiar with Selma Burke, but you might be familiar with her work. You did talk it about. You ever had to bust down a quarter, huh? Two dimes and a nickel? And two dimes right there? That's Selma Burke's work. That Franklin D. Roosevelt that's on that dime, she designed that, but it's been whitewashed in history. See, she graduated from Winston-Salem State in 1924, but in 1944, she goes up to the White House, okay? A sister in the White House, right across from FDR, and she just a drawing, hmm? Let me get your nose right. Eyebrows, hmm? Gray hairs, because <laughs> you know he had the gray hairs. <laughs> and she drew it on a brown paper bag. I'm talking about the same bag we used to carry lunches in. A brown paper bag. Took that drawing and turned it into a bust. If you don't know what a bust is, not a brassiere. I'm talking about like a 3D portrait of the face. Come on, keep up with me, people. John Sinnock actually engraved on the dime. But here's the problem. John Sinnock said he had no inspiration from Selma Burke's version that was from a brown paper bag to a bust. You may need to go to my YouTube to see the side by side, but here is Selma Burke's work, and here's John Sinnock. I didn't get no inspiration from no Selma Burke. I didn't even know no Selma Burke. The devil is a lie. I didn't know. Maybe you didn't either. I didn't know.